Um, welcome. This is my Triple W 2024 presentation for our full paper, category based and popularity guided video game recommendation, a balanced oriented framework. My name is Li Xiping, an undergraduate student from Harbin Institute of Technology, Shenzhen. And this is a joint work together with my teachers and schoolmates. Um, we are going to jump straight into the main reasons why we choose to solve the problems in game recommendation scenarios. First of all, we list a number of video games released in Steam platform by years in the bar chart below. As we can see, the number of released games is increasing year by year and has grown a full 33 times in the past 10 years. This proves the huge potential of video game market. On the other hand, the existing game recommender systems could still be improved in terms of both the accuracy and diversity. The immaturity of research in this area means there is huge room for improvement. Uh, for game recommendation, the problem we aim to solve is, generally, when considering diversity, it's not easy to get rid of the so-called accuracy diversity dilemma. That is, higher accuracy often means losing diversity to some extent. The possible reason is that when we rec recommend the most likely outcomes to users based on their historical preferences, we may focus narrowly on popular or common items and ignore the items that are more diverse and strange. On the other hand, after introducing some diversification strategies, the diversity indeed gets promoted, while often the accuracy is not guaranteed. So how we solve this trade-off in our methods? Our overall idea is to divide this comprehensive but tough goal into two contrary sub-goals. Thereby, we introduce one corresponding models respectively to solve these two sub-goals by obtaining high-quality games and players' representations. After initially obtaining these two advantages, we further proposed a comprehensive module to combine them while further maintaining them. To obtain the game representation of high quality and enhanced accuracy, we try to com comprehend the relations between video games, which is inspired by the work of Liang Wei et al. Therefore, our immediate goal is to find similar games, cluster them in the game graph, and thereby propagate information between them. So how we find the similar games? The existing solution is to build the game graphs with raw connections, and I'm going to introduce it more specifically. First of all, what we need to know is that each game has many category information. Among them, general, developer, and publisher are three qualitative information that are very important and convenient to utilize. Existing solution utilizes only one of the aforementioned three relations in each game graph. That is what we call game graph with raw connections. For example, in the graph based on general relation, the nodes representing game I and J are connected if and only if they share the same general. In this row, the similarity of neighboring games is based on single category similarity, whose credibility is limited. To solve this problem, in contrast, we build the graphs we call game graphs with strict connections, which means in each of them, game similarity is based on cross category associations. For example, in the game graph based on general and developer relation, game I and J would be one hop neighbors if and only if they share not only the same general but also the same developer. Thus, 
the threshold for connecting and the credibility will become much higher. Based on the aforementioned rule, there would be three game graphs with three strict connections, where we get a game representation respectively from each one, and we will introduce the attention mechanism to automatically judge the importance of these three relations we explore. Then we jump to the first diversity-driven module, Connectivity Enhanced Neighbor Aggregation. In this section, the problem we encounter is that in the previous module, because games with similar categories are grouped together, the representations of the games are highly related to the categories. This means that those games belong to certain categories may receive certain advantages advantages in recommendations, thus limiting diversity. So our solution is to enhance the category diversity of neighboring game nodes in game graphs, which is opposite of the solution in the previous module. And specifically, we lower the threshold for connecting, that is, Game I and J could be connected once they share the same genre or developer or publisher. Only one of the three conditions needs to be met. Based on such role, we can construct a highly connected game graph where the diversity of game nodes are much higher. In the second diversity driven module, we enhance the diversity from another perspective by recommending more long-tail games. The problem we will face is that in the player game bipartite graph, the connectivity of long-tail games is highly limited compared to the popularity ones, which makes their information difficulty, difficult to reach to more players. Our solution is to transform popular games into tools for spreading information from long-tail games. This is more direct method to emphasizing the importance of information from long-tail games compared to the usual approach of staking more graph neural network layers. And specifically, we take three measures to modify the player game bipartite graph. First, we would amplify the weight of ages from, long, from popular games to players. As the popular games are expected to become tools like microphones. Second, we diminish the weights of popular games to reduce their already strong influence. And finally, we emphasize the weight of long tail games to directly enhance their effects. Under these three modifications of bipartite graph, once the information from long tail games flows through popular game nodes, player can indirectly assess it more easily. And here comes the final module, that is the comprehensive module, combined training with negative symbol score rating. This section combines three types of game rep representations from previous modules, and then uh, uh, the rating score of the negative symbol when calculating BPR loss. Here is an illustration of the rating function. As we can see, in two cases, the change in rating score is more significant. In case one, the negative symbol gets a high score before rating. This means it's likely a confusing false positive game. So we should enlarge its rating score and the BPR loss to force the model to train further, enhancing its accuracy. In case two, the negative symbol gets an extremely low score before rating, which shows it's a potential long tail games. Thus, to capture this poss possibility and help them recommend it more often, we enlarge its rating score as well. In the results section, we compared our model CPGREC with both the accuracy-driven methods and diversity-driven methods in terms of both the accuracy and diversity. First, oh, sorry. First, 
In terms of accuracy, the accuracy focus CPG rack outperforms all the baselines, while the diversity focus CPG rack outperforms all diversity driven methods. Besides, the trade of CPG rack ranks only behind the accuracy driven sorter named SCG rack. Second, in terms of diversity, we introduce the metrics coverage and entropy. The experimental results shows that both accuracy focus CPG rack and trade of CPG rack outperforms all baselines in diversity, while the accuracy driven CPG rack outperforms all accuracy driven baselines as well. In addition to our model, there are some researchers proposed novel and imp impressive ideas and frameworks to enhance diversity, which are different from ours. For example, Zhang Zheng et al. proposed a model named DGCN, which proposed to choose negative items of the same category with positive sample in BPR loss. And DGRAC proposed by Yang Wei et al introduced the submodular function to select, select diverse neighbors. All right, to conclude, we propose an innovative recommender system focusing on video game recommendation named CPG Rec, engineered to harness the potential of important information about games like category and popularity. And as a balance-oriented framework, we find an ideal balance between accuracy and diversity, surpassing recent baselines in diversity, while closely uh, approaches recent accuracy-driven sorter in accuracy. And finally, we propose a novel negative sample score rating to enhance both the accuracy and diversity significantly. Okay, thank you.